So talking about um, th these New England crocs, and um, we're, we're going to look at the slipwear, de the decoration, the cobalt decoration, and they came from um, uh, crocs with nothing on them, no surface decoration at all, to a very simple scroll design here in a two-gallon that you can see that isn't marked other than two-gallon. And um, this vessel is very simple, um, not unusual design, very common. And then we go to a little, um, like almost like a bellflower design here. And this is actually um, an Ashfield croc um, with a three-gallon croc. So I just want to show you some of the cobalt decorations of that period, the 19th century. Then you can get into a, a little more stylized um, floral design in a four-gallon. And this is a Norton and Bennington from Vermont. Um, has a little more cobalt and a little more flow to it. A different, a little bit different design, more cobalt in it. And then we can move into a highly stylized, here's a little bit more cobalt in this crock right here. Um, a floral kind of, um, uh, like a, with a, a large stem design, which is flowing too in that salt glaze. And then if you look at this one, which is a three gallon larger crock from New York, it has a lot of cobalt design on it. A little flatter in the cobalt, but you see um, a lot more blue compared to this crock right here. Um, it also, this, this stylized blue, um, the more blue you have on a crock, the more expensive the crock is. So keep that in mind when you're looking at um, and trying to figure out how, to, um, how much to spend on these crocks. The more cobalt blue you see on them, the more um, it's going to cost you to buy them.